MLVBro.com, covering black and brown major league. Hello, baseball fans. This is Timothy McCain, and you're watching Brothers Broadcasters on MLVBro.com. And today, I have the pleasure of interviewing Hall of Fame, Rennell Brooks Moon. She's been with the San Francisco uh, Giants for over 23 years. She's got 36 years in profession in professional work in sports. I mean, this this woman right here, she's amazing what she's doing. So thank you very much, Ms. Rennell, for um, for giving us a few moments of your time. Of course, it's my pleasure. Thank you for your interest, my MLB bros. <laughs> yes, Come ma'am, on. absolutely. <laughs> so what got you into baseball? When did you first fall in love with baseball? I, I My earliest memory is like two years old mm. at Candlestick Park. Uh, my papa, huge baseball fan. Negro Leagues, Major League Baseball. My mom is their only child. So mm. he passed down his passion for baseball to her, taught her how to score. She, you know, so she's got it from her daddy. I got <laughs> it from my mama. <laughs> yes. And really, Timothy, it's just, we are such a baseball family. My brother um, had dreams of being a Major League pitcher. I remember as a little girl, following him all over the Central Valley, going to all of his tournaments and everything. It's just what we did every summer. It's just, I thought every family did that. So you talked about in college how, you know, you were looking at different things because you just didn't see uh, women or women of color, you know, in uh, the sports space. So what led you to ultimately do something that's outside of the box, outside of the traditional norm and be the first of many? I got the big call in the fall of 1999 asking if I'd be interested in auditioning for the job with the Giants as PA announcer. Wow. <laughs> but they clearly had seen my body of, of work and they, I found out at the time, there was a woman before me, the Giants Sherry Davis. the very first woman, yeah. Um, so, um, and all props to her because she busted that door down for the four of us that are doing it now. Uh, but yeah, so um, they told me they wanted to hire a woman with broadcast experience. I applaud them for keeping it progressive and staying with a woman. And I appreciated the fact that they found a broadcast professional in me and gave me the opportunity um, mm. to audition. So I auditioned four times and, uh, and, I, and I got it. I, we got the call that I got the job the week before my husband and I were leaving for Thanksgiving in Maui. It's best Thanksgiving ever. So you were the first woman in sports history to be a part of a, to actually public and, publicly announce a championship game, a championship series. I mean, not only talk about your experience, but also the historical significance and impact of that. That was the, the World Series we don't like to talk about a lot, the 2002. <laughs> it was great for me because I made history. <laughs> But that gosh darn Tim Salmon had other ideas, you know. <laughs> um, it was just the most incredible experience. And I was just, I was overwhelmed. I was nervous. I didn't expect to be going to the World Series in like my third season. <laughs> right. <laughs> or, or like ever. It was not something that ever was in my wheelhouse. I was like, okay, so this is happening. Mm. And then all of a sudden, I become the story because of everything you just said. So now, not only local media, but Southern California media wants to interview me. Mm -hmm. And I am a nervous wreck. I just want to do my job tonight and get the world is watching. Yep. <laughs> and all day, I just was doing interview after interview. I was in Jet Magazine, which as you know, yep. I made it with all my family in Texarkana, Texas and Arkansas, when mm -hmm. I hit Jet Magazine. <laughs> Love Jack Magazine. Love the one. Oh I was my a kid. God. Iconic. Iconic. So um once I once I got through the start. Now batting catcher, your Victoria Alba. Brunel says she lets the rhythm of the game determine her energy level. There are a few golden rules. When announcing the opposing team, what do you don't want to give them any ever announced a pro championship of any sport ever, right? And I was like, wow, <laughs> that's bananas. So that's the that's the good part of the 2002 World Series. 
Um, talk about the experience of Barry Bonds breaking the home run record. And if you could make a case for why he should be in the Hall of Fame, despite the steroid allegations that everybody says, right? What would you say about yeah, the They were record? allegations. That's, mm -hmm. all, that's all it was. There's nothing proven. Who hits better than him? Who's more of a student of the game than him? Whose hand-eye coordination is better than his? Whose baseball IQ is higher than his? Don't get me started. This is Brooks Moon. Thank you. Thank you for your Thank time. Thank you, Timothy. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. MLBbro.com, covering black and brown major leagues. 